welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Zelda News. Let's get to that Zelda News. First of all, we've been hearing quite a bit out of Mr. Anuma recently, thanks in part to uh, interviews because he's been at the Game Developers Conference and things like that. So uh, he said some interesting things about the Zelda series. Uh, first of all, he says that Zelda must innovate at this point in time moving forward with each title um, he did not, of course, explain what exactly he means by innovate, but it's nice to know that he understands that there was this very uh, firm mold that Zelda games had been made in, and that it's time to maybe break out of that mold. Of course, exactly what breaking out of that mold entails, we don't know. What we do know is that he has been talking about things like non-linearity, which we saw in A Link Between Worlds, so it's very likely that the next Zelda games are not going to be linear, that they will allow you to explore an open world. I think he understands that that is something that uh, not just Zelda fans want, but the larger audience of gamers want. Um, also, probably things like, you know, maybe now we're going to get some voice acting uh, for everybody except Link, hopefully. Things like that. I, I don't really know how much else you can innovate the Zelda games without diluting what makes Zelda Zelda too much, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, also, he was talking about how now that they have the uh, style for A Link Between Worlds, well, he didn't say this. The interviewer said, well, now that you have the style for A Link Between Worlds, it would seem a pity if you didn't reuse that in some other way once more. Um, and Mr. Numa says that, yeah, now that they have this whole new style of top-down Zelda, another top-down Zelda is definitely a possibility. I don't think we'll be seeing that anytime soon, though. My guess is that this coming E3, we will it will be all about Hyrule Warriors. We won't really see much about Zelda U. We might see like a little something, like maybe an image or something, but they're going to want the focus to be laser focused on uh, Hyrule Warriors, and I, I bet you five dollars that we're going to get an announcement for Majora's Mask 3D. In fact, it would not even surprise me if there were playable demos at uh, E3, if, and now that they've done that whole Best Buy thing where you could go to various locations and play the E3 games, uh, playable demos around uh, that way, I just really feel like they're just holding back on Majora's Mask 3D to make a big fancy, splashy announcement at E3. So, uh, that's my guess. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow for more Zelda news and Nintendo news. See you then. Bye, guys.